All right, folks, Sean here again with you uh, from Things From Another World. Uh, I am here with James Asmus, comic writer. And we're going to ask him a few questions. So, hey, James, how are you doing today? Great. How are you? I'm excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's start with what are you currently working on? Ah, awesome. Um, right now, we're in the middle of our run of Kong of Skull Island. First trade available now, but uh, running for a while from Boom. Um, Crazy, crazy, awesome ape dinosaur violence uh, and uh, political and emotional intrigue among the natives of the island. So okay, sounds like who wouldn't love that, right? Um, I'm actually doing a run on my son's one of my son's favorite things, My Little Pony. Oh, nice. Actually, the first time he went into a comic shop was Things from Another World, and I asked him to pick out one thing, whatever he wanted, and he bought a My Little Pony comic, That's and up. and that got us started. So uh, he's. He's been super excited about that. Um, and then actually, I'm in the middle of prepping a couple things that should be announced in the fall. We're getting a project for Skybound, something uh, a creator owned, and a couple other ones that I'm... A little secret, is it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But actually, I'll say this. It's um, it's teaming up again. The one, uh, one of them is me teaming back up with a comedy writing partner of mine from back in the day that we did a mini image miniseries together, End Times of Bram and Ben, and it's, our, it's a diff very different thing, but if anyone liked that or likes the comedy side of stuff I've done, they'll be very excited about it. And actually, guys, you know, that actually is one of the one of my favorite books, the one he just mentioned. Very funny. So the fact that they're teaming back up, that is great news. So, um, next question for you. Out of all of your body of work, is there anything that you're most proud of? Yeah, um, I think, uh, uh, I think Quantum and Woody from Valiant is one of my favorite things I've ever done. Uh, I really love, I love all of it, but volume one is great. And also then we did a crossover with uh, Archer and Armstrong in a series, a mini series called The Delinquents. And I co-wrote that with Fred Van Lente, who's a good friend and utterly hilarious and brilliant. So we thought our books, our two kind of silly books would be silly together, but they got like exponentially more insane. And Kano the artist did incredible work like I, I if nothing else go look up Kano's pages from the delinquents because they were incredible and I don't think he got enough credit for it okay yeah. noted and you take note of that so um, last question okay and it's a little bit of a weird one okay okay what are three things that people should know about you whether it be professionally or personally oh sure um I actually I think a particular thing to understanding a lot of my work and how it's a lot of it's really different from each other is that I was actually uh, grew up studying to be an actor and I went to school for theater <clears throat> and so a lot of my writing is me getting in I, I love trying to explore very different characters very different emotional realities so I have silly funny stuff I have really heavy dark stuff and it's all just I still love that challenge of understanding the next very different person as best I can and trying to get into that reality. So okay. a lot of people are like, how are you the guy who writes King Kong and My Little Pony? And I'm like, oh, because I want to understand both of those things. Like, I want to get to that point. Um, but acting turned into playwriting, which led to comics. So okay. so there's that too, I guess. Like, if you ever want to, if you're ever at a con and you want to talk to someone about musical theater, I'm probably a guy that you can... Okay, you can let's start. try to remember that, okay? <laughs> Uh, okay, last question, super random. Let's see, Dracula or Frankenstein? Um, Dracula in the streets, Frankenstein in the sheets. You heard it here, folks. Dracula in the streets, Frankenstein in the sheets. I'm out. <laughs>